From the beginning of time, having a substantial amount of food has been a challenge for mankind. This is a struggle of life that has existed for thousands of years and probably will exist for thousands more. In our exhibition, we explore how this lack of food due to poverty is expressed directly and subtly within the arts. We will discuss pieces from the early 1800s to the 1930s, all ranging in genre and medium. After the Boston Tea Party, where tea was thrown into the Boston Harbor because of resistance against taxes and British monarchy, Paul Revere painted the piece of artwork. It is called The Able Doctor, or America Swallowing the Bitter Drought. This painting represents the, the personification of America being sexually assaulted and forced to drink tea. This symbolic attack on America is a result of the Boston Tea Party and explains the feelings of Americans toward the British. This piece by Rembrandt Peel is called The Roman Daughter. It depicts severe filial devotion. The painting displays a woman who has come to her father's aid in a very peculiar way. Her father was unjustly imprisoned and in order to save him from starvation and jail, she resorts to breastfeeding him. Critics found this image to be extremely offensive because it contained not only nudity but implied incest. Elijah in the Desert by Washington Allison shows the hermit prophet Elijah struggling in the barren wasteland of a desert with no food or water. This image implies hopelessness for Elijah. Ironically, Alston used a bizarre medium to paint this piece. He worked with skim milk as well as paint. Eastman Johnson's oil painting, Negro Life at the South, emphasizes the ramshackle poverty-ridden slave quarters. This piece exemplifies the conditions many slaves in the South were confined to. In contrast, we are able to seek the brick slave's master's house in the far right corner. This sculpture by John Rogers called The Fugitive Story expresses the plight of the escaped slave woman on her own. She carries a baby signifying she is not only poor but also a single mother. It also depicts a small sack that carries all her worldly possessions in it, which judging from the size, couldn't be a lot. She looks desperately at the men who appear as her social superiors. Albert Bierstadt's painting, The Last of the Buffalo, depicts a Native American killing off all the buffalo on the land. Ironically, the American government ordered the Native Americans to kill off all the buffalo. The buffalo was the Native Americans' main source of food. After a certain amount of time, the Native Americans killed off almost all the buffalo and caused the Native American race to die out. Street Arabs were homeless children who slept in alleyways. This stunning photograph called Street Arabs, Mulberry Street by Jacob Rice, showed the anguish of these young boys and their traveling impoverished lifestyle. At this time, artists started desiring to create not only beautiful imagery, but also images that revolutionized life. They wanted to shove poverty in the face of the middle class and upscale society. This magazine cover of Opportunity, the Journal of Negro Life, displays two African American men in the traditional old school pose of blacksmiths. This magazine was meant to exhibit African Americans' contribution to industrial life. It shows that they are hard workers that do manual labor and put in work. is a photographer who often shot in Harlem. Though Harlem is known as a poor area of New York City, Van Der Zee wanted to promote it as a place of self-confident social mobility. This photograph, couple wearing raccoon coats with a Cadillac, exhibits what would appear to be an upper-class citizens of society. In reality, Van Der Zee was criticized for making this couple appear as American Gothic is one of the most well-known images in America. During the time that this painting was made, the economy was very bad. While many farmers were shutting down, the farmers in the painting remain hardworking and express moral virtue even though they are down on their luck. As we just saw, artwork can express destitution and thus lack of food and proper essentials of life in a range of ways. It captures desperation, expresses different moral values, and shows how people strive even without perfectly healthy conditions. By surveying this art, we were able to take in the hardship and appreciate what we have and be thankful. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed our presentation.